Hello YouTube once again, this is Mojoman4147 aka Jonathan. Um, this is my second video log, I thought I'd do this uh, because I've bought some new equipment which I'd like to share with you and show you how it all works. Um, first of all, thank you very very much to everyone that commented on my original video. Um, I do appreciate it, it gave me a very very warm feeling uh, to wake up in the preceding days, uh, preceding following days, and uh, <laughs> give me a very warm feeling to wake up in the following days and get such lovely messages from everyone. Um, it is nice to know people out there appreciate the work that I do um, because of the effort I put into it. Uh, so, again, thank you very, very much. I do appreciate it. Um, I had uh, too many names, but yeah, you know who you are, so thank you. Secondly, I have some news for you. Um, this April. Is it April? Yes, it is. This April 16th, I am off to London for the Al Bowley tour. Um, this is organised by Memory Lane. What it is, it's a walk around London. Uh, all the places where Al Bowley used to live and work, and some of the places where he played, Savoy Hotel, etc. etc. Um, there's going to be a walking tour around those, and then in the afternoon there's going to be an event with record playing, music, videos, and a celebrity who knew Al is going to give a talk. Um, I have no idea who it is, I was wondering whether it's Lou Stone's widow. Uh, I don't know whether she's still alive or not, but that's the only guess I have at the moment, so. Uh, be interesting to see who it is anyway because uh, frankly I think it will be quite fascinating to talk to someone who knew Al. Um, I already know one of the YouTube member who's going, you know who you are, um, but if anyone else is going please do let me know and uh, it'll be interesting to meet you on the day. Right, subject of my video today. Um, I got in from university today, uh, after quite a long day actually, and um, found a lovely large parcel waiting for me, huge great thing. Um, and it was my new record deck that, uh, that I have ordered from America. Um, you might be surprised to learn that all the work I had done previously was done on this. This cost me £30 off eBay. This cost me a lot more than it wasn't off eBay. Um, I decided that now I've been collecting, well I've been collecting since September 2009, uh, I figured that it was time to upgrade my equipment a bit uh, because I, you know, I mean, this hobby is going to be one for life now, so I thought I'd get some better equipment, basically. <coughs> so, I bought this lovely machine. I'll just get up and uh, show it to you. Excuse the mess. <laughs> this is a Vestax BDT2600. Um, variable speed from 16 to 98 RPM. Um, I've got various other things I'll attach to it and show you later. Also there is my dinky little graphic equaliser <laughs> that I got off eBay on the cheap which I also use now when I'm digitising my records. So let's just place the camera back on there and I'll go sit down and carry on talking. Right. <coughs> this has come from a website called Kabusa um, in America. Uh, Chappie runs it, it's been very very helpful actually um, and excellent service, I really really cannot fault them. If you have a bit of money to spend, I do strongly recommend them. Go and check them out. Um, anyway, as I was saying, variable speeds. Uh, because this deck came from America, I've had to buy an adapter plug, so just be warned if you do the same thing. Don't plug it in uh, straight to the wall because you will blow all the fuses. Um, UK voltage is considerably higher than American voltages. And chap who runs the store told me about it. Uh, someone that bought a deck and plugged it in with a straightforward conversion plug um, without a voltage adapter and it blew up. So, don't do that. <laughs> right. Unfortunately, I'd like to show you how to um, how I can change the cartridge on this, but obviously I can't do that with one hand holding the camera and the other one unscrewing it. So I will, I will briefly tell you about it. Um, I can set the tracking weight on this machine. Um, I can also set something called anti-skating, which I've yet to figure out, but I should probably read the manual a bit better. Um, so, the pack from Caboose gave me uh, two cartridges. This might focus, it might not. This is a Stanton, what is it? Stanton 500 uh, with a 2.7 conical stylus on. This is for playing my 78 RPM records. And the cartridge which is on there at the moment is a uh, Senyo generic uh, with a 0.7 conical stylus <coughs> for playing my LPs. Uh, quite a lovely deck actually, very weighty, um, I've played it a few times, very well worth it I have to say, um, the the long wait for shipping was worth it in the end. So, 
uh, yeah, okay, I think I'll, uh, I'll just show you how we change the cartridge on this. It's a simple case of unscrewing one. I'll just take the uh, plastic cap off that and screwing in the other like so. Um, and that's it. Uh, we'll just set that back. So, we turn this on. My speakers, by the way, are just a simple uh, DAB radio. There's nothing fancy yet. Um, I need to get some speakers, some better speakers, but that's next on my list of things to buy. <laughs> um, perhaps as taxpayers you'll be pleased to know, well, those of you here in the UK, that my money isn't being spent on alcohol so much like most other students in this country. It's being spent on equipment to preserve the sounds of the past. Um, so I'm sure you'll all be happy about that. Um, so this is currently playing at 33 RPM. We oh actually I can do this. I'll show this to you with my because I can operate this. Right. So this is currently playing at 33 RPM. There is a small lever there which allows you to change it up to 78 RPM. And then there's a fine I believe that says a fine pitch on there, which allows it to go even faster or even slower. I can turn this right all the way down to 16 RPM if I want to, which is actually quite interesting. Should be quite useful for uh, for recording. So, whoops. Tracking weight's been set. That's spinning at 70 RPM. My radio is on. And my housemate is wandering around outside. So, this is a disc that I bought recently. I put it on uh, YouTube. It's one of my better works so far. Um, this is uh, Ain't That a Grand and Glorious Feeling by Jack Hilton. Uh, so, unfortunately, there's no queuing lever on this either, so I'm just going to operate it manually. settings for the equaliser might not be right, I've just kept them from the last record I played. Um, just as a, an experiment to show you how loud this thing is, and my god it's loud, I'm turn the equaliser off and I'll play the first few seconds of it. Um, this will probably end up distorting on the camera anyway, but it's just a bit of an illustration as to how loud it is. As I said, very, very loud. Oh. Place that back on there, like so. <laughs> so, all in all, quite a, uh, quite a nifty piece of equipment. Um, all my uploads will be done with this from now on, so expect to hear much better sounding records than the cheap flat ones, which I got with this cheap thing off eBay. As usual, I do welcome any of your comments, um, and I look forward to seeing what you have to say to this one. Um, it's been a pleasure talking to you, and I will see you again soon.